you have received everything that you need to be powered up. So let's do it. Last year we tapped the student leaders from the student organization and they did a beautiful job. The feedback was real good from the consultants about the leaders. But then we said, okay, but those students were already leaders. How do we get some of the students who are not already leaders to be leaders in the YMTS program for 1995? And what we did was to send out letters to the faculty asking, would you suggest four or five students I'm uh, sure give those who were leaders an opportunity to participate, but give us some students who are not already the leaders. Give us some of the more quiet students. Give us some students that you feel need this exposure. And they did that. Therefore, we had a greater mix of students in the student leader group this year. We had some 90 to 100 students come to this room to say, yes, somebody suggested I be a leader. I don't know what, but they told me to come to this room. What can I do? Well, right. one, of the, one of the classes I went to, the instructor offered the students extra credit just for listening and participating and writing up a report of what, what was going on. And, and that's one way to do it. They, they respond to getting extra credit. Most people in life say, I want to be successful. But they don't have the recipe. And they go through life with a constant state of trial and error. They try this, they fail. They try that, they fail. They try, they fail. And eventually, most people give up. Statistics show us, if you take 100 people, Start them out at the exact same place at the age of 19. By the time they are 65, one will be wealthy. It's to go by Career Services, room 202 in Caldwell Hall, because they are qualified and certified over there in that office to help any of you all that will set you up with internships, mm -hmm. as well as do and provide mock interviews for everybody. We have three consultants here today who will be talking to you about college, uh, world of work, life after that, and that's what we're here to do today. But my goal is to motivate you, to prepare you to do something differently. One thing too is to surround yourselves with positive people, to surround your, yourselves with people that are going places in life, that are doing things in life, because as long as you're you know, looking out for the people that are not doing anything, you're going to continue to stay on that same level. Thank you, whoever thought of, um, of just the subject of credit and talking about how Sometimes we can get caught up in credit cards. I had a consultant to give me a homework assignment about an orange. How can I make a dollar orange into $10? This event really fed my soul. Um, it, it got me through the week and, you know, it's given me more motivation to go back to my job. 1.5 million students will be graduating in 2005. Do any of you students have a clue how competitive it's going to be in the job market? I would like to recommend to the group to consider having more key speakers in a general forum. When you continue to learn, you become the standard by which others will be judged. And we have to expose our young people to positive role models that don't have anything to do with sports and, and entertainment. And then we, we, can, we can move in the right direction. We can move. Those things are out there. Excellent job at that. Especially Miss Ms. Cherry, know I'm scared of her. Okay. <laughs> you never know who's around you, but you've got to be prepared with your talents. But that means also that you've got to be prepared to come out of your zone of comfort. We are live with YMTF, Youth Motivational Task Force on UAPB TV channel 24. We are also broadcasting live 89.7 KUAP. And we will certainly look at your extracurricular activities to try to determine whether or not you are a leader. Because so customer service to me is being responsive uh, to the customer and then even when they're not exactly right, and notice my words, exactly right, making them feel like they're close. Uh, not, don't worry about anyone else. Be proud of yourself and the things that you're doing to track to where you want to go in life. So I leave you with that, and I hope that you seize every opportunity this wonderful campus have to offer to you. I've been so impressed now that my expectation is to find great students at UAPB, and that's being met. UAPB is giving you the will to take on the world. And I want you all to know you can go anywhere in the world from right here. Everything that you need, all the bases, everything that you need will be given to you right here, especially in this program. Others think that education should furnish them with the notable ends rather than means to an end. You consultants tell them that education is a means to an end, it is not the end itself. 
Uh, Kevin and I, like, we hold the title of co-chair, but we really just do what uh, Miss Shirley Cherry tells us to do. <laughs> oh, you better be supporting somebody who's directly affecting the bottom line. If not, guess what? We're going to make you available for the job market. We don't need you. Either one or two things. You got to affect the bottom line, or you better be supporting somebody that's affecting the bottom line. Things change over time. You have to be aware of things that are changing, and you have to adapt and change with those things. All of you all are here because things have changed, and you see that in these students. The students are different every year. I just would like to say at this particular time that this has been a great 35th year celebration, and we appreciate all of you for what you've done to make it so. It was a success, and we know it was and it was only a success because of you, and we appreciate you. I'm also a product of the Youth Motivational Task Force. As a student matriculating here, I was exposed to YMTF. I don't know any other program that has better served me than YMTF. Miranda and I are here with Live with YMTF radio broadcast in celebration of our annual Youth Motivational Task Force program. This program is designed to help students realize the importance of preparing for the successful entry into the real work world. You must be smart enough to take advantage of opportunities that come your way. You need to understand that success is simply an intersection of opportunity and preparation. I want you to know that seven out of ten of them, when I asked them the question, what made them decide what they were going to do with their lives? They had just graduated in June. Seven out of ten said those speakers that the principal brought in here. Now the speakers were the Youth Motivation Task Force people. You can sag on your own time. You can holler at your boys and your peeps like you want to in code switching discourse and vernacular tradition and colloquialism on your dime. But when you's from nine to five, hi, how are you? You know, we know you come, but we don't understand it. But when we talk to the high schools, that's when I got it, is we want to give back too. You know, you try to speak to us and you want us to understand. So when we speak to the high school, that's when I got it. I want to give back too. So this was very, very enlightening for me. We don't have any greater investment that we need to make than in the young people that we are charged with trying to help move uh, into society. And as I told Mr. Lance and others at this table that we were talking, I said, you know, these young people that are here are the young people that are, are people that are going to be running the world of the future. And if we don't do a good job with them, we're going to have a miserable time in the nursing home. The student who envisions success and sits under the guidance of a mentor to develop a plan to implement the vision is the student who has the competitive edge. But I can tell you that determination will win over talent every time. We only have one avenue. And what is that? Education. That's the only way that we have access to full empowerment. You can look for some mentors because each person has their own gifts, their own strengths that bring to the table for you. If you can find um, one mentor in your county field, for example, maybe you'll find one mentor um, on the level for you, one with regards to your interests, then that's great. But don't just look for one mentor, find several mentors to get your strengths up a little bit. The best way that you can repay them is to become a mentor yourself. We ask him to uh, film for posterity. And of course, you know, he's invisible, but I just want you to recognize him because he's really a loyal, hard-working person, Mr. Kennedy. Now, he is an example, along with Mrs. John her people, people who go over and beyond what the job description says. Will your work be remembered? Do you think the work you are doing this year will be recognized and admired? Still serving people, still making a difference 10 years from now. You've been getting some encouragement and motivation and support from various people over the last couple of days. And you ought to really embrace that because in the real world, you're not going to have that every day. 
This might be the last cuddling you get. So don't reject getting cuddled. You better wake up and open your eyes. This is not a game. Your future is on the line. Your career is on the line. Your well-being is on the line. Your ability to provide for your family is on the line. And if you can't provide for your family, who's going to do it? That's why you are here. They may work for Kellogg, but the Kellogg may have a friend that works for the company that I want to work for. But that, but that can be a huge hurdle for you to realize that you need to definitely humble yourself and it will take you a long way. They shared so much with me, like uh, not having an email address from onehotmama.com or mrstubmuffin.com and all that kind of stuff because they do get a lot of resumes from those inappropriate email addresses or to even put your resume on your smartphone so you're always ready to send it. When you have commitment, you have teamwork. When you have commitment, you have a society that's able to function. And when you have commitment, you have a YMTF that produces the many students that are gonna be successful moving forward. This is very powerful. A lot of people, um, young students, don't get this. I've talked to my friends from other schools and I, I thought this was something that went on everywhere. And they were, what, what's YMTL, what's a consulting? They come, they come to your school. Do not allow fear to immobilize you. So it's okay to be afraid, as long as you don't allow that to uh, prevent you from acting. I had a number of students come up to me, you know, you know, Corbin, will you mentor me? Or, um, you know, once we got to a point of telling our stories, and they were actually able to relate with us, you can see that sparkle come to their eyes, that little glimmer of hope come back into their minds because you see, okay, they were just like me at one point in time. They had drugs in their family. You know, their mom wasn't always there, but they made it. So that means I can make it too. Now I wanna leave you with this. Remember, <laughs> where there's opportunity, there's growth. And without exposure, there cannot be any experience. Thank you. Uh, I think it's a wonderful thing when, when executives can come and give of themselves and their time and talent uh, to our students and our students really appreciate it and it really makes a difference in their lives. Uh, Mr. Bennett was just telling me, he said, when, when the folks leave, you'll see the change in behavior. You can see it and sense it. So Michael starts, Michael starts to take a step. And as he remembered the instruction of the director, every step he took lit up. Because the director before went in, before Michael even got there, and pre lit his steps. So all he had to do was follow the instructions. So Michael took a step and lit up. Michael took another step and lit up. Every step he took lit up and made a great video. What happened? What would happen if Michael started doing his own thing? two years ago and while I sat on my couch I said well the university was celebrating probably its 99th year in existence and I tried to recall some of the participants that was there and you probably would have had Mr. H.G. Barnett you would have had uh, Mr. Luther Dangerfield and a few others when we started this program 
42 years ago, even though I was a student. It had zero budget. Zero budget. And uh, at, when I started working with it um, in uh, 77, 78, uh, then Chancellor Herman B. Smith gave me $500 to pay for the meal. I say thank you, UAPB, because you turned me into a golden lion. See, students that are in here right now, you're not a golden lion yet. You're just a lion. You don't turn into a golden lion when you start paying your tuition. You turn into a golden lion when your light shines. That golden means something, it illuminates. And that illumination is the pathway to excellence and greatness for the next generation. See, when you become a golden lion, it's no longer about you. It's about those that are coming behind you. Of all the good things that we have going on at UAPB, this is one of the best things that we have done. I am a 1990 graduate of the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, and I've also been a youth motivational consultant for 24 years. I'm a Pine Bluff native with AT&T, and I've been with YMTF for about 17 years now. I am so excited to have experienced this year's program. The theme was awesome. Reboot for success, control, alt, delete. I could not be more proud of the students' involvement in our program, more thankful for the consultants for coming down and joining us and helping us make this program successful, as well as our speaker, Mr. Omar Kareem. We really appreciate him coming and the message that he had for us. So tonight, I want to share a few things with you in terms of reboot for success and maximizing your potential. I love Miss Cherry, the, the theme talking about control, control yourself. Alter, look for alternate solutions. Delete, delete situations that are toxic and may cause tension and negative energy. So my name is Malcolm Mathis and I'm a 2006 graduate of the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. Um, I work at Monsanto who was a silver sponsor for the 2016 YMTF conference. And when I was on the yard I was a liaison so it's very cool to come back and give back as an alumni of the university and help pour into the lives of the students so that they can become better and so that it creates that pipeline for them to become successful. Rebooting for success was the theme for this year. Controlling, alt alternating, and deleting some of the things that are in their life. So it was cool to come back so we can create that pipeline for them to be successful. And then they can then reach back and, and keep that pipeline going. And I'm a strong advocate for the education that I received here. Not only the education in terms of academics, but the experiences that, that I went through here helped um, mold and, and develop the skills that I use today. I was a chemistry major when I was here. And it, with that, my analytical skills, some of the professors that helped me along the way with references and mentoring and things of that nature really helped me to, to get to the place that I'm in today. Career services wants nothing but for us to be successful. So it's a different element, and I'm just grateful to everybody in career services. Thank you so much. I had my first internship this year, my first co-op with Monday, getting paid fifteen dollars an hour. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you, career services. Um, my consultant Malcolm Mathis is second. He has really impacted me. He's told me that um, I shouldn't just limit myself. Because at first I wanted to become a, a physician assistant, but he's taught me that um, I shouldn't have but the um, word but in my um, vocabulary, and that I shouldn't just limit myself, that I should go for um, the actual uh, pediatrician. So I think I'm gonna change my career goal into a pediatrician instead of physician assistant. So thank you. I wanna say thank you to uh, this entire program. I think that it's an amazing, an amazing opportunity for professionals to take time out of their schedule and come and mentor and sit and teach and actually learn something from students as well. And so 
Um, thank you for all of you professionals who took time out of your schedule to come and spend time with the students at, here at University of Arkansas Pine Bluff. You've been coming to this career services office, you've been here at the university for a while, you know what to expect. She said, we've given you everything that you need to be successful on this interview. You've already done well so far, and you could have even asked to finish it. So why don't you go ahead and I want you to square your shoulders, I want you to get yourself together, and I want you to go and make us proud. And that's what I did, friends. I went back down to the hallway with my resume in hand. I had my, my shoulders perked out and I was ready to go. I walked back in that room and I aced that interview. And he was so impressed. And he said, hey, listen, I know you're here to interview for this position, but there's a program that we have, this leadership program I think you would be perfect for. She said, would you be interested in flying to St. Louis uh, next week to interview? I said, well, <laughs> I don't have anything on my schedule. <laughs> I live in the dorm. <laughs> Let me call my mama and see if I can go to St. Louis. <laughs> University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff, I leave you with this. Know who you are. Seize the opportunity in the opposition and lift others in the process. Only then will you experience success when the numbers are against you. So I'm happy to be here. I'm happy to say that I have observed the YMTF program grow over the years and I'm thankful for that. I want to also say to you good evening and welcome. All of those of you who are, who are representative of various companies and various government agencies, I want to thank you for coming and sharing your expertise with our students, helping them to understand the theme of this year's program. Success, that's on me. And the emphasis is on what? Me, it's on me, not me. But you and me. <laughs> so we had one young man that decided to take on the challenge to create an app for YMTF. Bradford, would you come forward, please? <laughs> certificate of Appreciation. This certificate is awarded to Bradford House for your hard work and dedication I'm creating an app for our Youth Motivation Task Force program. Yes, indeed. And it has been a blessing to some people because you can look back and see the people who have come through that YMTF and they're doing well in their various and respective offices and they are going forth and they're coming back as consultants. Uh, uh, that's a wonderful legacy uh, for you and for the University of Arkansas at Pine Bluff. One thing I found helpful is finding something that separates you apart from other potential advocates because you understand you're going to be competing not necessarily against people besides you in the same room at the same college but globally. I have to eliminate the excuses and I have to have the aptitude and the attitude to be able to get to the altitude of career advancement in my workplace. And never be afraid to get feedback. It doesn't have to be from your supervisor. It could be from someone that works on your team, right? And, and because you need feedback from all angles in order to grow. If you're, when you stop getting feedback on your job, that's when you need to worry. In addition to that, you need to know how to communicate effectively. It's all about communication, not just verbally. Sometimes your body language says a lot. So you have to know how to communicate both effectively. Don't go buy the next George to come out. Go invest in a suit. Go invest in a nice suit, a tie. Something that you can have. I'm, I'm no knocking suit bad or anything like that. Get a quality suit. Something you can wear to a, to a true interview. And then practice putting it on. Me and practice tying the tie. If you don't know how to tie a tie, YouTube has everything at our fingertips. They'll teach you how to tie a tie. If not, find a mentor who knows how to tie different types of ties. My first job was my supervisor, who's a white male, he had a PhD in physics as well. So he was saying that since my PhD came from an HBCU, that my PhD was pretty much useless. So I asked him why would he think that, and he's like, well, you know what? At Alabama A&M University, all you did was study physics courses. I'm just like, well, duh, if I'm getting a PhD in physics, what else should I study? So I said, well, what was on your curriculum? He said, well, I took mostly math classes. And I was like, well, in order to do physics, you got to know how to do math. 
So my PhD is equal or even better than yours. And then I said, well, are you saying that my PhD isn't equivalent to yours because I went to an HBCU? Total silence. Thank you for coming, and I hope you enjoyed everything. And please, please, put it on your agenda to come back next year. Yes, ma'am. Thank you.